for a moment now and again, you just feel like you, you're just in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing else around you. It does great things to me, just living by the sea, you know, and walking along it every day. So I was born and bred by the sea anyway, in Senegal, in West Africa. I tend to face out there, as if almost I just want to shut what's, what's behind me out for a, for a while. But it is, it just makes you really think about your, your journey. They know exactly what I want, mainly my poached eggs. So I have a nickname, Poached Egg Steve. I'm sort of slowly detaching myself from the system and not letting it sort of stress me out like most people. You see it all happening. It's like a, this is like a big television screen and you're just watching everything as it happens. It's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know whether it's that good. Oui, je sais, merci. And you do make mistakes like mummy, don't oui, merci, you? Merci, <laughs> merci. I live in, in France, but I was born in Brighton. It's quite important to bring Zoe to do things that I did when I was little, having breakfast, going to the beach. She speaks English, but I want her to... I suppose I want her to be English as well, British, and... She's quite good at it. <laughs> Am I mummy? Yes. Yeah, you're very good at being British. I never bad hip ties because I've always got thoughts in my head. You have to clear your head. I can't clear my head. And I think that stems from being on the streets. I came out of the army in 92. I'd surfed in two wars, the Falklands and um, Desert Storm. I came out and the reason I ended up on the street was because three months away from getting married, I caught my then fiance in bed with my best friend and it destroyed me. So uh, I tried to commit suicide two weeks later. But the rest is history, as they say. It makes you more passionate, you know, when you've been through stuff. And as I say, I've got a lovely home down here now, so it's worked out for the better. Most mornings I first of all clean this particular part of the beach and sometimes, like I did this morning, the next section of the beach. And the litter picking became something that I started doing because I just hated seeing all this, this rubbish everywhere. Last year I swam 183 days of the year, which is on average every other day. I love travelling. I'm a Sagittarian and I'm told that I'm a traveller, being a Sagittarian. So people tell me. There's nothing planned at the moment. My husband's been ill since before Christmas, but he's recovered, recovering now, and so no travelling at this moment. Hopefully soon, though. Don't make the same friends when you get a lot older. We probably get set in our ways. We're not so adaptable, and hence you find it more difficult to accept people. I think that's what it is. Because when I feel lonely, I normally dash off and find something to do. You know, like reading or recording off the television and watching a film or something. But I get halfway through one and I think, this is rubbish, <laughs> you know. brings back memories of childhood and family time. So I've been coming to this cafe on and off for 50 years. My earliest memory was probably about five or six years old. Um, and the Lido's always been there, so we used to come down here, go to the Lido. Mum and Dad are no longer alive, so it's uh, 
when you come somewhere like here, it feels like there's a bit of uh, mum and dad with you kind of thing, if that makes sense. I think it's like living in a, in a festival, in a way, where people are trying to be quite crazy just for that weekend. I think people can actually be a little bit crazy and individual all the time. You know, live it rather than just do it for the weekend because you wear a silly hat for a festival and dance like that. It's living it. <laughs>